Okay, so today I'm going to take apart this computer monitor. This is one of the flat panel monitors, but it's a very old one. This one from 2003, and it doesn't work anymore. And so basically, uh, I tried to fix it, and I cannot figure out what's wrong with it. So, it especially being the square one rather than the rectangular one, um, just giving up on it. But what I'm going to be doing is taking it apart just to see what's inside, even though I've had it before, apart before, uh, just take it apart again to harvest it for parts and show everybody what's inside. So let's start by taking the stand off of those two screws right there. And I'll also take the back off. Okay, so of course when I said take the back off, this particular one, the front comes off. So that is just the front, and let's take a look at what we've got in here so far. Let's take a look at the speakers. They are pretty small. And then here is the back of these buttons on the front, what the buttons really look like. See there? Really on the back of these buttons, they just push these buttons on the circuit board by way of these little knobs on the back of the buttons. And so it looks like the screen, you gotta take these other screws out to get the whole screen out. And so that's what we'll do next. Okay, so there we go, we got the screen and the speakers out of the case which is out of the top, and now it looks as though, to take this apart farther, got these uh, screws on the side to take it out of that inner case because it's still all contained in that unit there. All the electronics are still in there, so let's take that apart now. And there we go. Okay, so now I've got the screen over here is out of its inner metal case which holds the rest of the electronics and whatever broke on this is going to be something on these circuit boards normally you look for blown capacitors which are going to be on the other side of this board and I'll take that apart in a second um, and usually you just have to replace those capacitors but I couldn't find anything wrong with this one so uh, who knows what's wrong with it as you can see we've got some discoloration right there something got really hot but um, I'll take that uh, circuit board off and flip it over just to take a look at it. But this is where we uh, unplug everything and separate the um, screen from the electronics. Okay, so here's all those guts taken out of the inner case. Um, just got two boards, so kind of uh, <clears throat> a bit of a power supply receiving board and then your actual logic board and I don't see anything wrong with it normally you look for um, the tops of these capacitors will be blown open and uh, when that's the case it's just an easy fix but uh, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong I see some I had seen some discoloration on the back there and now that is right exactly under that transistor right there so there's a chance that that transistor is blown but um, not going to pursue it not for a square monitor and uh, so I'm just harvesting it for parts and now this is where you can unplug those speakers and keep those for something and uh, can keep your circuit boards uh, for those spare parts and uh, at this point, I can see a few more screws on the screen. So let's take those screws off and take this the screen apart the rest of the way. See what's in there. Okay, now underneath that panel, to look at some really tiny stuff. It's a good example of why you why you really can't work on these sometimes. Parts of them, there's nothing you can do. Because look how tiny, extremely tiny. And 
Now those are like hairs, those um, circuits there. And the way they're rolling around from the other side, it's got to have something to do with every line of resolution probably. You know, anything could be wrong with any of these chips. Just extremely tiny stuff. So, I don't know if it comes apart more. I'll see if I'm gonna, I don't see any more screws, so it's down to prying. I'll see if it comes apart any farther and uh, see what I can do. Okay, there were a few more screws on the sides here. Next to, there were tiny screws next to the first screws that I used, that I unscrewed. And now that allows me to take this inner frame off of the screen. And so what we have now is more access to the screen. Here's a look at those here's all those little ribbon cables that coming around from the other side if you remember. It looked like there. And they're coming around to this side and Lining up with who knows what. I'm getting really close there. And um, I'm guessing at this point, I mean, there must be another level of separation. So let me see what I can pry apart next. Okay, there were just a bunch of plastic clips along the edge here. It separates the screen from um, some kind of backing, but this um, this appears to be the active electronic part. And you can see through it now, as you can see. Um, I don't see a kind of a Fresnel effect. Of course there wouldn't be because this isn't a projection of any kind. But this is probably the thing that lights up. This thing um, is Judging by the way the electronics are still attached to it, this must be the thing that actually does the... Oh, look at that. It's quite reflective. Um, this must be the screen. Let me get a real nice close-up look of those. And the circuit boards. Uh, so that's the thing you want to keep and play with. There's probably all kinds of things you can do with that. So what is this? I don't know. But it comes apart further, so let's take it apart some more. Okay, so here's a better look at this part. Um, same thing, the frame just pops off, and then there are two layers here of uh, plastic. I'm just going to get up close and just show this, because I don't know, you know, um, it's got a kind of a spattered pattern, kind of like, uh, looks like the old uh, movie screens in your house, Bell and Howell screens uh, for diffusing or something. And then there's another layer in there that's got a more of a matte appearance. to peel that up. Okay. And so, yeah, that one's opaque. Oh, there's another one. Okay, there are three layers here. There's this one that's got oh, maybe a little bit of a sandy pattern. And then you've got another one on top of this one, which is clearly 
mirrored. Pull that one up. It looks quite mirrored, kind of a prismy effect. Definitely pretty neat. And then this one on the bottom that just looks like kind of like wax paper, looks like wax paper. Of course it's not. And then down here you have, I'll get in really really close because there is a wrap paper pattern there. And um, this is definitely plugged in. This definitely does something because it has over on the other side, put these layers back down. Over on the other side you can see that it has uh, Cables. So this whole thing must light up. Uh, my guess is that my guess this is a guess, and I always hate to guess, but my guess is this is an L LCD monitor, and uh, it puts the image on here with the electronics, and the only thing that this whole part of it just probably lights up. It's probably just for illuminating the back. Um, and that's, uh, that's just a guess, because I don't know how they work, but, um, I think that's how they work. And I'm guessing this is, oh no, I do need to go farther to find out how that illuminates, don't I? Okay, let me see what I can do. Okay, haven't taken that frame piece off, um, and those, uh, those sheets of plastic I moved to another place. I'm going to try to keep those nice so I didn't want to get any sand off. Um, but I took it all off and um, I thought this was a big empty cavern but it turns out to be a thick piece of who knows what plexiglass or something. It's uh, full of this plastic and it's got that white background back there and uh, big sheet of uh, Lexan or plexiglass or you know I'm, I know somebody will correct me and basically you have these uh, two plugs running in there into the side and there must be just these one two probably LEDs probably pretty strong ones that light up this entire uh, piece of plastic and uh, yeah, I'm guessing that's what I'm going to do next, is I'm going to dig in there and see if I can get that out and take a look at it. And then there's not much left of this. So hold on. Okay, so here's a look of it at it. I got it out of its little backing case. Boy, look at all the layers. This has just been an extreme number of layers. Yeah, the way everything goes together. Components inside of components. But, um, yeah, I got it out of its backing layer, so now I've got this thing loose. And, uh, there's a look at the back of it. Um, that appears to be the white part that's making it white. It's just stuck on there. I get, oh no, actually, it's, if you can see there, it's separated. It looks like something I'm going to be able to take off. And then I'll have this clear piece of, um, whatever it is and uh, so I'm seeing here these plugs look at the edge you got a wire going all the way down it to the other side so I was kinda of wondering that myself um, probably four LEDs for the whole screen you know we got two cables and two um, let's see one two cables and I was thinking there was just LEDs over on this side but um, there is a wire stretching to the other side, and so it's just a matter of getting this little end piece off and we'll get a look at it. So let's see. Okay, it came right off. As it turns out I could have just done that. But uh, yeah, this thing's full of surprises. I've, I've never looked inside of one of these this, this far in. And I was expecting two little LEDs on the, on the corners, but it's got these super long... Gosh, they look like fluorescent bulbs, don't they? 
and they go all the way down the whole thing and of course there must be one on the other side as well and uh, I've never seen one of those but you know this is why this is why I take this stuff apart is I always find surprises like this um, these I'm definitely gonna save I'm gonna see what I can do with these with uh, batteries and what have you on its own uh, little cable there and uh, kids you know I, I know that mostly kids watch this channel um, this is part of exploring if you're a little bit older like say you're you know 10 12 years old or something like that you can start looking into broken equipment to see how it works and and uh, so on and um, that's the only way you find out these things now over here you can see the paper uh, it's plastic um, white part comes off now and it reveals uh, something that surprised me I thought that that graph paper design was on the paper but as it turns out it's on the glass or plexiglass or whatever this is and that is right that is definitely worth saving because that's something uh, you know when you play around with a bunch of stuff that's the type of thing you want to keep on hand for who knows what and I think that's for uh, I think that'd be kind of a diffuser or something that diffuses light um, there's not quite enough uh, squares there for this to be the resolution so I think this is a diffuser, a light diffuser grid to um, provide light for the screen, which is over here. And um, that's as far as you can go with this. Uh, nothing else really comes apart without unsoldering and prying and pulling stuff apart. Um, this, of course, was the... 2003 mag monitor and I'm almost convinced it's an LCD and uh, I hope you all got a kick out of that uh, stay tuned I do a lot of this um, uh, try to keep it as interesting as I can I uh, hope you got something out of it and um, thanks for watching